Top of the morning to you folks. Kelly's leaving for work. Ruby's out here scouting. cool enough last night to leave the doors and the window open and uh, had a nice breeze come in. Of Super cool. We're going to try something new this morning. We thought we'd bring you along. A little product review. So I've been wanting to try Black Rifle Coffee for a while and relax. This isn't a commercial. We're doing this on our own. So we were at Cabela's uh, last Saturday and we've got this. They got a bunch of different flavors. This is called Silencer Smooth. We're going to give this a try. Let's give our water in our coffee pot. Got to get me a filter. All right, got our little filter, got our coffee bag opened. I wish coffee tasted like it smelled when you open the bag. That smell is just amazing. So for 10 cups, I used two rounded scoops. That first one wasn't rounded very well, so I'll put a little bit more in there. And I find that to be about the right ratio that I like. So we've got our water in and everything. We're good to go. Now those folks that think like I do are wondering, well, what size is this scoop? How am I supposed to know what, what that scoop is? Well, your standard size coffee scoop, which this one is, is two tablespoons. We got this scoop in some coffee at some point back in the day, and I've just kept it. But it's two tablespoons. So if you're going with our amount for a 10 cup coffee maker, it's a quarter cup. So four tablespoons is a quarter cup. So you can just use a quarter cup measure if you want. You don't have to have a special coffee spoon. The bag has got a nice zipper top on it after you open it. So you can squeeze all the air out of that bag. Keep it tasting as fresh as you can. Now way back in the day when I was still working law enforcement, my for 25 years we drank a lot of coffee doing 12-hour shifts and uh, you'd get to the coffee pot you'd pour yourself a cup of coffee and it was the darkest most bitter nasty coffee you could ever drink in your life it had been sitting on the burner for like five hours but you drink it so I had a sergeant way back in the day, his name was Vince Trufa. He made the best coffee. When you when he made a pot of coffee, it was fantastic. And I'm like, man, what do you do different other than not burning it? He's like, I just make coffee. So I watched him one day, and his secret was those two scoops for a 10 cup pot. He would just put two scoops of coffee. Everybody else was putting four, five scoops in that uh, filter. So I tried that one day, and that was the key. Two scoops of coffee for ten cups of water. This coffee pot here is 14 cups, so I only fill it up to the ten cup line. Because I don't need 14 cups of coffee in the morning. Kelly doesn't drink much. But... Give that a try if uh, you're a coffee drinker. Try just the two scoops. I think you'll be quite pleased. So the other thing I learned over my long coffee drinking career is water temperature actually matters as well. Most coffee is best brewed at 180 degrees water temperature. The problem is most of your drip coffee makers and your percolating coffee makers that's 212 degrees because the water is brought to a boil. So if you can get a coffee maker that you can set the brew temp, uh, I believe you can on like a Kruig and stuff like that with the little coffee cups, they let you actually set the brewing temperature. 
your coffee supposedly will be a lot better. All right, we're done. A lot of, of y'all that know me will recognize that coffee cup. I start out with one ice cube. Then let's go in with the coffee. That ice cube just makes it drinkable. My buddy Matt can drink it right out of the pot. Feels like it's going to burn your face off. All right. So no matter how this review comes out, Black Rifle Coffee Company is a USA-based company. They roast and package all of their coffee here in the United States, supporting the workforce here in the U.S., which uh, helps everybody out. I know Black Rifle may sound like a big scary name to some of you folks, but uh, they're just people trying to make a living and supporting some good causes. So show them some love. A portion of their profits uh, go to veterans group and law enforcement, too. And no matter what your politics are, folks, those are good causes to get behind. All right, folks, the moment of truth. Let's give it a shot. It is really smooth. It uh, lives up to its name. That's a pretty good cup of coffee in the morning. I can't say that it's like stands out night and day from other coffees, but it's a good coffee. So there's your review on my review on Black Rifle Coffee. Of course, this is just one flavor. They had like eight different flavors there on the shelf. They're Cabela's. They had hazelnut and um uh, all kinds of different names i don't know if it's a different roast or what it is but this is the silencer smooth and i like smooth coffee and not really crazy dark uh bitter coffee of course i'll take it and guess what i've got some pear cobbler left over that uh a piece of that will go good with this coffee too so I hope you all are having a good morning this morning. It looks like it's going to be a great day outside. So go out, have fun at work if you're working today. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. Come back and see us here on Mark Kelly Farm.